Welcome everyone. This is a tremendous day for um, South Australia. I've been fighting for uh, many, many years for us to join the great wine capitals of uh, the world. And I think um, when we, we joined up in July last year, we were very felt very pleased to be welcomed into such a, um, a, a privileged group of cities around the world. The collaboration that will happen in the wine industry will have at many different levels, but education is so important. If we look at someone like Peter Gago at Ducks out at, uh, at, at Roseworthy, that Adelaide University connection that has been there for so long, and I think we've always done really well in the wine making and uh, in the vineyard sort of area of, uh, of research. Now, it gives me great pleasure to uh, present Peter Gago with this certificate um, as our Great Wine Capital's Global Network Ambassador. I look, uh, truly honoured to be an ambassador for such an amazing enterprise. You know, when you combine tourism with education and business enterprise, how can you go wrong? From a, a South Australian winemaking perspective, our market, yes, is South Australia as a subset of Australia, but gee, big things are happening offshore. And that's where we spend most of our time. Now, these 10 cities, Adelaide included, of course, I'll be, I think, across about four or five of them in the next four or five months. So my role isn't too onerous. We're there anyway, but now we have some incredible contacts. And isn't that what a global network is all about? We create opportunity for others. Business is all about the two-way street. Everyone wins. And if we do this properly, Adelaide will win. The University of Adelaide will win. The wine industry wins. Thank you very, very much for this truly great honour of ambassadorship. Thank you. I think for the university and our students, uh, primarily, this formalises a whole lot of interactions around student mobility and exchange. So having students travel from one country, one region to another, uh, is a fantastic way of exploring global opportunities in wine business. Probably behind that, a whole lot of um, opportunities around joint research and uh, collaboration, particularly given our different uh, positions on the globe, how we manage our supply chains, how we manage our brands, our location close to China, their location close into Europe, and new market opportunities. So this is a really significant event for us. I think for South Australian uh, wine business, this opens up a whole range of opportunities for collaboration at a very small and a very small primary level with small producers trying to understand and exchange best practice. I think the French producers would love to learn a little bit more about Australian wine production and I'm sure vice versa. So this is a, a wonderful opportunity for both sides. Because one piece I would say which is at the moment missing a bit in a wine business education is providing to our students a real international experience. So they do have it, you know, with little time visiting, discovering one region, but what we're trying to work in this cooperation project is something much more deeper, where actually the learning experience from the beginning could be based on two very important high positioning wine regions around the world, Bordeaux and Adelaide very positive learning experience. And this is why I think Bordeaux and Adelaide, in that regard, are very much complementary. And there is a lot to learn from one to another.